Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Reachieville map. Yes, indeed, I am continuing the harvest. It's, uh, what can I tell you, it's that time of year. You know what they say, when the sun shines, you gotta make hay. Okay, how well is this gonna work here? There we go. Nice. So yeah, collecting our corn. This, uh, whoops, here, let's get a better view. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know if I can pronounce that and still keep my rating on YouTube, but there you go. Uh, this particular trailer, I found it on the Mod Hub. I think it's got a, a fairly substantial um, capacity, like a million liters or something like that. So we'll have to see how this goes. All right, now we can get our harvester back to work. And we'll use that trailer as our tender bin. And I take it, this field is so big that we can't even see our giant harvester sitting somewhere near the end of it. There it is. Oh, guess what? pipe hanging out over the crop and all that. Yes, good job, dude. Oh, and barely, though, eh? Wow. Alrighty. Alrighty. No, I don't, uh, don't want to be in his way when he goes to turn around the next time. So, I uh, really don't need to leave those running either. Okay. Now, there's no hired worker because this was full before I uh, logged off the last time. There you go. Do hope everybody's doing well. Survived the, uh, well, I guess for the Americans it would be your Thanksgiving long weekend. For the rest of us it's just Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that happiness. Still got a couple of pennies left in your pocket? Good for you. <laughs> My entire uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday thing and involved buying one game from the Steam Fall Sale. I picked up uh, Hunter Call of the Wild. Why are you being goofy about dumping the rest of this? Okay. Not sure what you thought the issue was, but could you unload the rest of that? Thank you. So yeah, uh, Hunter Call of the Wild. I think the first video went up uh, tonight with this. Probably. I don't know. Uh, I do record a day or so in advance if I can help it. That way if things like, well, I guess it was almost a month ago, I had to, uh, out of the blue, take a, a fellow apartment resident out to the, uh, the great Vancouver Island for some medical look at Jet and... Uh, yeah, I didn't end up with any videos up that day because I had not planned in advance. All right, dude. Do your thing. So, oh, man. Almost didn't start you far enough over. All right. Where, oh, where is everything else? Okay, you're that. Oh, I was probably better where I was, wasn't I? Mm. Ah, here we are. You've got a nearly full tank. Awesome. And you're really close to the tractor. Now, do I have any room? Well, we're going to have to get this off the field, like, really quickly. Because it is grass, and come tomorrow morning, I think it'll simply cease to exist. And I'd much rather... Oh... I'm full. Great. I'd much rather, because this thing takes forever to get out of here, um, have it in a silo or, you know, somewhere, um, than I would have it just sit out here and disappear. 
because yeah, this clover is going to be great for feeding the bees. <laughs> I'm sorry, old man. I'm just not going to be able to get past that, dude. <laughs> feeding clover to bees. That's just so cool. Um, anyway. Um, yeah. There's um, just a quarter of a block down the, uh, the road. It's really the driveway to our parking lot. Um, we have a, a curling club. For those of you that aren't Canadian, you may not know what that is, but I'm not going to get into it right now. Um, but at any rate, there's a little embankment beside it, and the entire embankment is covered in um, heather and clover. Um, clover is the really close ground cover, and then it's got some heather that's about six feet high now. But yeah, it's... I kid you not, when both of those are in flower, and there is one time, the heather flowers twice a year, um, but when the heather and the clover flower at the same time, I kid you not, from easily a hundred yards away, you can hear a buzzing noise. It is so thick with honeybees. It, it, it's like, you know, you get near it and it's just this constant moving carpet of bees over these flowers. They just love it. Between the heather and the clover, they're like, woo we're making honey now, man. And, and I imagine that's, you know, just what they do. So, yeah. This thing still floats a little bit. Even with the front weight and the wheel weights and all of that. Probably because the uh, trailer's got a bigger footprint than the tractor, you know. Like, it's got more rubber on the ground. It's going to cause more of an effect. How are we doing here? Oh, it's only 10 in the morning. I have cranked the time down to 1x because we have a lot of crops to get in out of the fields. So, there's no point pushing this day. We were lucky enough we got a couple of days of, uh, well, a day and a half of harvestable weather. The rest of it, no, who cares? <laughs> Let's just get this stuff in and sorted. All right. In you go, Clover. Now, I know the harvester for this is already waiting for us. So... I have off in the distance there, in that little patch of grass we had um, between these close, um, our little grass factories and the uh, sheep, I put in a trailer shed. I'm, I'm just getting tired of, uh, you know, trailers here, trailers there, trailers freaking everywhere. And uh, I know, isn't that just the best poetry you've heard all day? Uh, so yeah, it, it, it's dealt with. I just slap down one of those uh, big open-ended things that you can drive in from any side, any way, any how you want, and uh, went from there. Of course, I put it completely 90 degrees off of where the smart way to put it down would have been, but you know, that's, that's me and that's the way I do things. And I'm an idiot. Just gotta say, sometimes. See, yeah, I bought me a second uh, big tractor, eh? You may have noticed that when we uh, unloaded that. Uh, unloaded that overload. Uh-oh, both of our harvesters are very, very soon going to be awaiting. This is a bit of a long trip, eh? I almost bought one of the JCBs when I wanted to buy a second tractor. But for one, even the largest one, doesn't really have the kind of horsepower I'm going to want to be hauling around to, you know, 100,000 or 200,000 liter trailer, and I don't know, I, I, it's kind of like the John Deere's, you'll notice I'm not using a lot of them, now we did on the original when I first started this map, I tried to go as John Deere as possible, just because it was the new thing, of course this time Crohn's a new thing and we're going, you know, but anyway, I, I digress. Uh, no, there he is, waiting for us. But I find both of them to be um, John Deere's and JCB's just fine for getting and going, but not so good at dragging stuff. There doesn't seem to be the uh, 
the raw torque that some of the other machines put out. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I think I've probably mentioned that before, if not several times, but there you go. Man's got to have something to yap about when he's got to yip for 30 minutes. <laughs> hey, we're not that far off on this clover field thing. Cool. Alright, yo. Let's get out of here. Alright. Fair enough, fair enough. Nice place to stop. Good to see we finally got a little cooperation out of you. Okay, perfect. Because you don't need to sit here. That's the whole idea, having that big, big, big bend of a trailer sitting there. So they can just empty into it, because quite frankly, you, sir, have a higher function to perform. And that is... I'm going to go grab the uh, Faraggio wagon there. And we're going to go skim up all of that grass that's sitting out there at the, uh... Hujima Wajima. Uh, clover field. Yeah. Moo, 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 moo. Oh. Yeah, cows love Beethoven, do you know that? Do you know dogs like music? Cats couldn't give a damn. And, and it, this isn't one of those, oh yeah, cats have such a standoffish attitude. No, it's actually because of um, what they would normally hunt and what sounds they usually pay attention to. Dogs, uh, much closer to our vocal range for things that they're, you know, either hunting in the wild or things that they make noises, including their own vocalizations. Cats, you'll notice, don't have very deep voices. In fact, they have very high voices. And most of their prey has very high voices, birds, mice, that sort of things. Um, as well as their communication with each other is done in very high tones. So most music they really don't listen to. Um, because it's not something that gets their attention. So they don't really react to it. Um, you know, I mean a big thumping bass all of a sudden will certainly make them look at your subwoofer, but... You know, beyond that, it's more because they felt it. Now, where is... Is this it? Humbo Humbo, you the thing? Yeah, you are the thing, aren't you? You big mucky-looking crone bugger. Okay. Um... Yeah. Where are you the thing? Oh, you're the thing. No, that was close. I almost just picked up the trailer. See, they both got a PTO because they use a conveyor belt to empty as opposed to tipping. So, yeah, I'm easily confused. So, yeah. Um, but cows, they're, uh, they're, they, again, they're, their range of attention and own their own vocals are closer to ours. So, they do, uh, do indeed pay attention when music is played so but yeah cats as usual they have an excuse for everything and they have a valid genetic excuse for not listening to human music there is actually music that's been written for cats and that they do pay attention to but yeah it's not something you really want to listen to so but anyway there you go just a bit of you know uh wage payment oh yeah i'm running two harvesters i guess we're paying wages aren't we Mm-hmm. Why is that connected? We certainly don't need to be uh, doing that particular thing, having the uh, all-wheel driver running. 
Yes, indeed, grab us some grass. You can tell this is the new one, eh? Well, not only is the fuel tank full and there's no maintenance, but there's no dirty, filthy footprints all over it. Give him one thing though, this particular tractor sure got a set of mirrors on it. Now I went double doubles with the wheels. I did go narrows in case we accidentally plug into a field. I mean if we hit it with the trailer we're hooped anyway, but this gives me a little bit of leeway if we're stuck turning around I won't destroy anything. But, because unfortunately it doesn't come with the choice of uh, wheel weights. There is a wide tire, but I find wide tires tend to be a little bit rolly, at least in real life. Um, whereas these tend to have almost enough grip on corners that they'll flip you over. So. And we're here. Okay. Yeah, let's turn it on. Awesome. There we go. Ooh. It's coming in at a good rate, eh? Excellent. Excellent. Oh, he's got his pipe out already. So. Tell you what. <laughs> Gotta get my exercise. There we go. Or am I imagining he has his pipe out already? I think I'm imagining it, aren't I? Dang, it's the other guy that's just about ready then. Oh well, we'll catch him before he hits the end of the row and that'll save us a bit of time in the long run. We will still have to do a bounce across to the other side and get that other one, but I'm sure he must be almost, almost waiting for us. Just walk them to the end here. Huh, sacred gold. Good game. Good game indeed. Some old school RPG isms there, I'll tell you. All right. Well done, bucko. Yeah, you're gonna wait till I'm out of your way, aren't you? There you go. Okay. How are you doing? 97%, eh? Yeah. No, actually. You're gonna... Run! <laughs> you're gonna be the wrong way, so I might as well just do that. And... Where is it? Ah, oh, right there. Very nice. Helper J. Helper J is gone for a walk, man. Oh, it's looking pretty full, isn't it? How are we doing here, buddy? Hmm? Hmm. You might take all of it. You might. Well, it is a busy, busy action-y day out here. Okay. That's it, eh? Dang. Alright. That's okay. Okay. He'll be back. Lickety split. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to go with the JCB. Sure, eventually it would have hit 70k. But this thing gets up to its, you know, 53 in 
half the time it would take that thing to hit 70. So, don't know if it's really worth it. I suppose it would work out to a little less time burned in the long run, but... I would question its ability to get some of these heavier rigs over those bridges. As much as they have been tamed out from the original, they're still... They'll put a load on your machinery, I'll tell you. Yeah. The unloading of the corn. Nice thing is, since I didn't hire a worker, he'll still be sitting there when we get back. I'll be able to get the rest of the load out, put him back into place, hire up the worker, and get back to doing our own work. And lovely. Quite the beast, the Zurian 5000. Eh? Nice. Alright, let's concentrate here and actually get in under here so we can do some good. Boom, 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 and done. Now. De -de -de -de. Of course, this one will be moving on to, uh, well, actually, no, I guess the other one will. Because I don't think we use a corn header to harvest the hemp. Whoop, 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 whoop. You're crazy there, dude. You're getting crazy. Alright. Oh, let's get a little bit greedy here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks about right. Let's hire him up. Beautiful. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, I don't need you, and I don't need you, or you, or you, or whoops. Dang. Hmm. Oh, almost done, eh? Brilliant. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I'm afraid that one sneeze just led to another. That's how much good that was. Um, this guy's got a long way to go, so... Let's leap out of here. And go pick up a little bit more grass, because we should have some time now. Some actual time. Alright. Wow, there's a lot of rows of grass. Hmm. already 30,000 nice and he should be done at the end of the oh no 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 that's right there is another couple of rows that just skinnies out again over there it's uh not a square field by any means. It's got kind of a weird shape on the one end. A little jutting piece. Wow, 60% on one row. Holy! We're going to haul a lot of grass out of here, man. My goodness. My goodness. Ooh, 
No, I think those duels do, of course, uh, increase your turning radius a little bit. So, they also slow you down a little bit on tight turns like that, but that's okay. Keep in mind, too, this tractor does have the four-wheel steering, so she's pretty sharp on the corners as it is. A lot of big rigs this big, we would have had to pick every second row. Not that it matters, it all gets done, but, you know, how are we doing here? 90%, wow. Already, eh? Okay. That's it. There's our hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> actually own that little piece of property, do I? I'm just wondering. Um, oh, perhaps um, we do. So, oh, there isn't, okay. <laughs> I saw the sheds, I thought there was a silo over here as well, but no, there's not, so. Never mind, although, can, hmm. Let me be having a looky. Just a little looky. Now. Animal silo. What will you... You will hold grass, eh? Hmm. Huh. do 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 no, Aw, oh, what are you doing here, man? Ah. Look. Oh, there's a trailer shed. Okay, where the heck is it we actually are in relation to the rest of the world? This way. Okay, let's go. Um, okay, it was right over here, eh? So. Oh, yeah. I think we have found the answer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And right there you go. Oops. All right. <laughs> do, 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 do. Why not? Then we can just come here anytime we need some extra, and we know we've got a big supply of grass sitting here. There we go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Love it. A breach is a full grain tank. Hi, oh, you're a bugger. Ooh, you're not quite going to finish either, but at least you're going to finish in the right direction. So that's cool. Where are you? There you are. Well, away you go, dude. this emptied out, get him back to work. So I guess next episode we're going to be way up, way up. Uh, out here, 18, 1, and 19. Indeed. And then that, well, I've still got our big hemp field to pull down. So we'll have to see how that particular thing goes. Um, there we go. Yeah, you can see here what we've got left. Still wonder what the heck they did with Field 57. 
why whoever owned it only put half a crop in. It's just strange. But at any rate, as you can see, as far as our own stuff goes, oh, what? Oh, that's right. These have already been fertilized, and or plowed, I should say. That's why they're a different color. But yeah, you can see we've got that little bit left here. Well, <laughs> even the cornfield's not looking like a little bit at the moment, is it? But yeah, we'll be heading out there the next time. So. That's kind of the plan. Like I say, I know it's a whole bunch of just harvest, 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 but that's kind of what we're going to be doing. Now, once we get past today and we're into winter, of course, then we're going to have a bazillion different chores. But until then, yeah, we got to harvest our butts off. All right. Let's, uh, what do we got going on here? You are the corn dude. We just left. Okay. You are excellent. That's what I want to see. So there's a lot of grass in this area. You know. All right, so that row's half done. So let's come into this row. All right. And we need to go and collect the little bit that guy's got so he can finish his job. Then we're going to move him over and get him started on the hemp. Yes, indeed. In fact, I believe we can kind of skirt around the back road there and come in from the other side. Okay. So, are you completely finished, or are you just full? Which way did it end up? Let me know, let me know. I think you're actually finished, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay. go, you found a spot you like, excellent, alright, now, I suppose it does behoove us to drop this uh, header and put it into its trailerable mode, yeah, we may not even get across the bridge if we don't do that, so we're going to do that, and then I will haul it down toward its new destination. And then I think this will have been quite enough of a long episode. Again, sorry about the little disturbance in the middle, but... Alright, now... Let's get you a trailer position. Boom. Let's drop you like a rock. Alright. Um... I don't need to fold the harvester. I don't think there's any reason for it. Okay, beautiful. Let's get the heck out of here. Don't need beacons because we're going to back road it. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those grass humps are a little bit humpy. <laughs> Just about stand our trailer on end here. should be able to simply soar on by our new sawmill. Oh, by the way, I meant to remind everybody, hopefully you're still here, I know it's been an awful long episode, don't forget to check the Trello board if you're playing this map, okay? Um, I knew the sawmills had been updated, but then I went on the Trello board and I realized the stone crusher had been updated, the stone mine, like there was three or four that I was getting behind on so don't let that be you um yeah pretty much weekly at least have yourself a look on the Trello that uh, Oldman 102 is one prolific little fellow when it comes to working this stuff let me tell you 
prolific indeed. However, I think I'm probably rocking a very long episode here, so I think I'm going to leave it at this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, as I say, I know it's just a whole bunch of harvesting right now, but that's kind of, uh, well, tis the season and all of that. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There is a link to the Trello down in the description. There is a link to uh, Old Man's PayPal page. There's a link to uh, my Patreon page. There's all kinds of good information. And, uh, of course, there's a big thing where you can hit a like button and favorites and shares and enough begging for now. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao.